Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math from pedal algebra problem. So here we have uh, two simultaneous equations. So we have m square plus n square equals to 13 and m minus n equals to 5. Uh, so we solve this problem for the values of m and n. So here first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. Uh, and now here we need to focus on equation number 2 so that from equation number 2 we have here we need to move this m to the right hand side or we move this n to the right hand side okay we easily get the value of m equals to 5 this minus n becomes plus n in the right hand side and we call this is our equation number 3 so here we need to put this value of m in equation number 1 uh, so uh, when we put our m equals to 5 plus n in equation number 1 so that equation number 1 is implies that this is m square the value of m is 5 plus n whole square plus this is n square equals to 13 and now here in the next step we need to apply here the algebraic formula so you know that if we have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so according to this algebraic formula we can write we can expand this formula so here our a is 5 and our b is n so when you apply this formula we write our above equation as 5 square plus uh, n square plus 2 times of 5 into n plus this is n square equals to 13 and now here uh, we need more simplifications and we write it as this is n square plus n square becomes 2 times of n square plus this is 2 times of 5 becomes 10n and this 5 square equals to 25 and we move this 13 in the left hand side so it will become minus 13 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now here we again add or subtract the like terms so that we have this is 2 times of n square plus 10n and 25 minus 13 is equals to plus 12 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you see here each of these term is divisible by 2 so that we divide uh, uh, each of these term on both of the sides by 2 so we write this here we divide each term with 2 on both of the sides so now you see here these two and two are cancelled out by each other and we will get here n square equals to this is 2 5 the 10 and we get 5 n plus this is 2 6 the 12 we get 6 equals to this is 0 over 2 becomes here 0. So now after this simplification we get our given equation into the quadratic form with n variables. Uh, so this is our n variable quadratic equation so now here we need to uh, solve this quadratic equation and you very well know about uh, the methods to solve the quadratic equation so we have there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation uh, the first method is factorization method the second method is completing square and the third method is quadratic formula so you can apply any one of these method uh, which you want so now here uh, I can just apply the factorization method and here I can just break the middle term and we easily make the factors of this equation so now here we break our middle term so that our middle term is 5 so uh, so here we need any two numbers whose product is 6 and whose sum is 5 so we have these two numbers are 2 and 3 uh, so we write over this 5 as 3n plus 2n and this is over plus 6 equals to 0 and now here we need to focus on the first two terms uh, so in the first two terms we have n be the common term so that we will take common n 
and we get the remaining terms are here we get n plus here we take common n and we get 3 plus here we take common 2 and we get n plus 3 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now here uh, you see that we have n plus 3 be the common term so that we will take common n plus 3 and the remaining terms are n plus 2 equals to 0 and now we convert this uh, equation into the two cases so we have n plus 3 equals to 0 or n plus 2 equals to 0 and now in the next step we uh, need to find uh, first the value of n equals to minus 3 this is the our first factor which we get here uh, and now uh, from here we get the value of n equals to minus 2 this is the our second value of n so now here from these two values of n uh, we will find the corresponding values of m so for this uh, for the values of m we need equation number three here so that equation number three is implies that m is equals to five plus n so here uh, we will substitute both of above values uh, simultaneously so that here uh, we first put this value of n here and we will get our m equals to 5 and the value of n is minus 3 we put it here so we get the value of m equals to 5 minus 3 becomes here too so this is the value of m similarly when we substitute this value of n here then uh, we will obtain our m equals to 5 plus n the value of n is minus 2 and we get the value of m equals to 5 minus 2 and 5 minus 2 equals to 3 so this is the value of m uh, which we get here so finally we have uh, the two solutions of the given equation are the first solution is m n equals to the value of m is 2 and the corresponding value of n is minus 3 and the second solution set is m n equals to the value of m is 3 and the value of n is minus 2. So this is the second solution of the given equation. So we have these are the two solutions of the given equation. And now here in the next step we, we need to verify these solutions so that here I can just verify the one solution for you and I can left the other solution uh, for to you. Okay. So here. Uh, uh, in order to verification of this solution uh, we need to copy down the given equation here it is m square plus n square equals to 13 and the second equation is m minus n equals to 5 so that here uh, we need to pu put these two values of m and n here and it will be written as the value of m is 2 we put it here it will become 2 square plus the value of n is minus 3 we put it here minus 3 square and here we check that is this equals to 13 or not so 2 square becomes 4 and minus 3 square becomes 9 and this is equals to 13 and 9 plus 4 becomes 13 equals to 13 so this shows that the value of m and n satisfies the first equation and now here we need to verify the second equation so here we put the value of m is 2 and the value of n is minus 3 equals to 5 so this 2 plus 3 equals to 5 and 5 equals to 5 this shows that the value of m and n also satisfy the second equation this shows that uh, the given uh, solution set satisfy the given equation this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos